Manila Best News. This is DZ Double Day 97.5. Bringing you the latest news developments from here and around Cebu. This is DZ Double Day 97.5. First, best and live upholding nothing but the truth. This is DZ Double Day 97.5. The voice. The voice. The voice of Manila. Good morning, Cebu. Good morning, Manila. It's a cloudy day, November 13, 2022. I am Ramia Christian de la Cruz. And I am Ray Nicole Taripe, and you are listening to DZ Double D 97.5, the voice of Manila. It's 7 o'clock in the morning, December 13, 2022. Ho, ho, ho. Are you ready for Santa coming to town? It's 12 days till Christmas. And we're back! Netiquette and its importance discussed by the students of University of Cebu, Banilad. The students of the University of Cebu, Banilad campus calls netizens to exercise better etiquette when interacting with others online. President of the Central Student Organization, Anthony Von Gaddy, clearly said, Freedom of expression online comes with important responsibilities. The students believe that netiquette promotes communication skills, prevents miscommunications, and helps you understand what is socially acceptable when working and collaborating online. Proper Online Communication Etiquette – The Do's and Don'ts of Proper Online Communication Here are a few do's and don'ts of proper online communication. Be careful of your tone in communicating through the net. Be generous and collaborative. Be friendly. Be clear and concise in what you post. Do not send spam. Do not use coarse language. Do not overuse capital letters. Do not plagiarize or steal. Speaking of plagiarism, how do you define plagiarism, Nia? Well, for me, plagiarism is closely imitating the language and thoughts of another author without authorization and crediting the original author. Correct! Now, plagiarism is a major issue in college students in Cebu. While there is no law directly penalizing plagiarism in the Philippines, students and media practitioners are urged to respect the work of others in coming up with their own. During the forum Cut and Paste, Plagiarism in the Internet Age, held at the Marcelo Fernand Press Center, the speakers stress that schools and news organizations must sanction their students and employees who commit acts of plagiarism. Attending the forum were local media practitioners and journalism and communication students from UP, USJR, STC, Cebu Normal University, Southwestern University, Benedicto College, and University of San Carlos. So, Plagiarism is a really big issue, right, Nicole? And for our active listeners to further understand what is plagiarism, might as well dive deeper into the topic. Sounds effective, right? Absolutely, Nia. Mark Joseph Solis, a graduate from the University of the Philippines, made a confession on September 2013 about his photograph that won the top prize in the Smiles for the World, sponsored by the Chilean Ambassador. Solis admitted his mistake and made deep apologies to the organizers and the owner of the said photograph. A bad practice indeed. I cannot imagine the reaction of the true owner of the photograph. He must be really disappointed to see his work being owned by someone else. That's right, Neil. That is why we should be more vigilant with our resources and consult our research to professionals. And that way, we can avoid plagiarism. This has been Neil and Nicole for, for Educational, Educational News. DZ Double D 97.5, the voice of Vanilla. For traffic update, for those headed to work, 
There is light traffic in Consolacion and Mandawi Highway. However, heavy to moderate traffic in Basak to Pagnaan is to be expected. For the weather, expect cloudy to rainy skies over Metro Cebu. One twenty, one hundred, seventy. Grabe ang mahal na mga bilingin ngayon. Tondo, si Silex, Silex, sakay, sakay, sakay. Oh oh, wala nang mga mura ngayon. Lahat tumataas na pati pang noche buena. Grabe no. Nakakamisang dating panahon nung marami pa tayong mabibili sa limang daan. Dahil daw yan sa ano bang tawag nun? Inflation ba yun? Paalala, walang asenso ang bayang kakaunti ang kita, ang pera na may humihina. Pagkurap sa buwis at pagtaas ng bilihin, pagbagsak ng ekonomiya ang mitiin. Ang paalalang ito ay hatid sa inyo ng dole at ng himpilang ito. Safi Basketball USJR Jaguars goes 2-0 and gets share of top spot. For sports news, here is Georgie Minoza. The University of San Jose Recoletos Jaguars posted their second straight win in the Safi Men's Basketball Tournament with a stomping score against the Southwestern University Finn Macobas. Playing an instrumental role in the Jaguars route of the Cobra was J.B. Mantilla who scores a total of 21 points, resulting in the Cobras their second straight loss in the tournament. Georgie, for the Sports News, DZDD 97.5, the voice of Banilis. 
What are you doing? You're not supposed to take a video. That's plagiarism. It's not if no one sees me. Besides, I can earn with these videos. There's a guard coming. Hey! Oh, shucks! Plagiarism is a crime and punishable under the Republic Act 10175 and has consequences for about six years of imprisonment and a fine of 50,000 to 100,000 pesos. The low-grade plagiarism of popularity will never lead you to true contentment. DZ Double D 97.5, the voice of Vanilla. An exciting news for K-pop stands as Korean artist Shen and Shuman of EXO performs on the grounds of Maktan New Town Cebu. Eunice, give us the details. Another good news for all the K-pop stands since Korean K-pop artist Shen and Shuman of EXO recently landed at Maktan Cebu International Airport. On December 7, 2022, for their two-day concert in the Philippines, the K-pop artists are slated to perform in this afternoon's concert dubbed as BU2, The World Will Care. On December 8, at the Mac 10 Utah Open Grounds, it will be the first time for the Cebuanos to witness the Korean stars to perform in Cebu. This is your showbiz buzz, Eunice Allo. Back to you, Neil. DZ Double D 97.5, the voice of Vanilla. And that ends your exciting news for today. Again, I am Ronya Christian de la Cruz. And I am Ray Nicole Tarite. Bringing you the most reliable and latest news. This is DZ Double D 97.5, the voice of Vanilla. Vanilla.